There's Tulsa pull tab finder. Say hey. G-Man tuna can. <laughs> and we can show our location all we want because ain't nobody going to find this. <laughs> We're way out in the country. Uh, out in Osage County uh, on some private property. And uh, this is supposed to be an old schoolhouse that's set right here. There's some the old part pieces of the foundation still right there and uh, I think I found what, maybe just a piece of a an old wood stove uh, looks kind of decorative right there on the edge that uh, we're running our iron so we can try to find iron stuff and uh, anything else get back to you on next good find Pull tab finder just found him an interesting find. A ya giggy a gam. A ya giggy gam. Your guess I, is I as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> looks like some sort of nipple. <laughs> Try it's that. It looks like it says a. <laughs> it says OJ. Oh, this was OJ Simpson's oh, bottle. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> We're finding stuff. G Man's got his first uh, good relic. Looks like an old. Uh, Looks like a lipstick tube, doesn't it? That's what it looks like. Looks like it was silver plated on that edge. Plated there. Oh, cool yeah. beans. There's stuff in here, man. That's awesome. Silver coins are getting ready to pop out. Later. Looks like G Man found him a a wheat. Yeah, it's definitely a wheat. A greeny, isn't it? Boy, it is green, green. Oh yeah, that's a wheat. That, oh yeah, that's awesome, a wheat. man. You Thank you. <laughs> that's cool. I hit a mason jar. Um, the seal is ceramic seal still in it. Let's see if there's hopefully a jar below it. Look. It's probably just remnants of the of the lid. Of the lid. Yeah. Well cool. If anything else is there we'll we'll show you. Yeah, I got something round right here on in the dirt. I haven't pulled it out yet. Let you look, take a look at it. it. Looks slick to me. Oh, there's something. Yeah. I was getting a 60, 65. Looks almost like a. It is a nickel. No, I think it's going to be an Indian. Oh. No, nope, it's a wheat. Oh wow. Is it a wheat? Let's hope it's a wheat. Yep, it's a wheat. Cool. Nice. So, yeah, it's a nice looking wheat. They got some good uh, patina on them out here. Yeah. Nice and green. Cool. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, where's toy car? Oh, oh G Man Tuna Can just got into a hell of a spot. He just found this marble digging in the same hole. That's what his signal was. There was a. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another marble. He's found a toy box here. Oh, wow. I found there was a jar lid a, came out on top. Might have been a sandbox. And then this Look is a car. That car is awesome. There's another one. Oh, another there it marble. Is. It popped out with it. Oh, wow. Look Get at them marbles. Here, dude. Those are old because that car is old. Is that a lead car? It looks like him. Yeah. Oh, it is. I Look where the marbles were sitting inside. Yeah, of they it. were inside the car. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> that is freaking awesome. That's a great find, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there may be more Keep in here. Plotting so around. Give it a second. Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't have any. Yeah, I saw that jar lid come out of there. Might be a whole jar full of toys and stuff in there. That's here. part of the jar lid that oh. came out of here. Oh, there's one. Another marble? Yep. yep. Oh, a red me? one. Oh, I see more down in there, too. Look at that. Are you kidding me? You found a <laughs> jar full of marbles. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, maybe I didn't. I could have swore I saw another one in there. Oh, there's 
muy buenas. Sorry, no, you're fine. I was filming your hand. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want the world to see my weak wrists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be something in the clump. Or in the cow patty. Yeah. Oh, is that what I'm standing in? <laughs> That's what I told Aaron. The lesson you learn out here is watch where you kneel. Oh, my hand was resting in that. <laughs> Nice. All right. All right, there may be more in here, but we'll okay. We'll get back That's to it. We'll find more. That fourth one that you, I yeah, didn't let's... see it. That is so cool. Yeah. That's cool that they were That's, into the car. That was yeah. as exciting to me as Andy's uh, <laughs> silver spill that one time. <laughs> I thought I saw another one. I'm gonna keep we'll... scratching around in here because there's. I almost need a rake. Yeah, we'll get back to find more. All right, you got another coin. All right there oh, yeah. looks like it's gonna be a week oh wow, you can see that already one cent man i love how smooth and green they are in this yeah they they come out great don't they yeah when you get out of the nasty city dirt it's nice out here in the country i'm gonna hand this to him because you can almost see a date see if he can see it with his good eyes my old eyes are creepy my last one was a 1919s got some sharp detail on the back i see it you can rub it, it's just a penny. Get the old glove off here. It's 20 something. Oh, cool. So everything seems like we found in here has been the teens and 20s. 29. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you. You don't find those 20s wheats very often. Mm -mm. Oh, you see uh, what you got there is a nice 20s wheat penny. Got a mint mark too, I think. By gum. By gum. And this is what it's like metal detecting with clowns. <laughs> I left my face paint home. Too. You still got the mustache. <laughs> Good fine. Thank you. All right. On to the next. Well, just uh, I pulled out of this hole and pulled it out of the clot yet. This is in there. Yeah, it's right here. It's about oh, like whoa. quarter size. Oh, it's a, it feels like aluminum. It's got a one on it. No, it's what it's a presidential token. Oh, yeah. See the president on there. No kidding. Is it Trump? That size. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be damned. It is Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell who it is. See if you can wipe that off. See who that is. Calvin Coolidge. Cool. Nice. That, Coolidge. that would date it then, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. You gonna have some stuff on the back there too. Probably his motto. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's Calvin Coolidge. All right. Okay, you just pulled up a a Calvin Coolidge presidential token. That's awesome. Thank you. Sweet. Congrats. Thanks. Well, we changed locations. Uh, this is a more modern house, but the the building that used to sit here was an old stagecoach stop, and uh, it's from back in the 1800s. I, I believe there's been a lot of fill dirt brought into this yard. We can find a lot of modern stuff <clears throat> uh, close to here on what used to be a stagecoach uh, trail. Uh, the owner of this property found this double barrel shotgun barrel just laying on top of the ground, washed out of out of the ground that's a pretty cool find so definitely some old stuff here we just got to get on it well we've moved on we're over by where uh, the trail used to come through and this was a an old bridge you can see the rock embankment that they built right there this is more of it right here And the trail went back up that way up towards where the house was we were at. There's some lumber over in the, in the uh, creek that's is from the old bridge top. So 
we're gonna try to swing a cool around here a little bit and see what we can find. Ain't that right, guys? Bet. Well, while these two are making out, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and check out this old well house. We're, we're even further out in the middle of freaking nowhere now. What is it? A huge piece of melted aluminum. <laughs> Well, obviously there was power out here, so uh, somebody lived out here not too too many millions of years ago. But uh, this is supposedly an old well house. They uh, capped off the well and uh, put power to it. It's it's still pretty old, pretty crude. I'm going to get too close to it. That thing leaning over like crazy. Been able to find a place for ground balance. Uh -huh. There used to be an old home here. There was an old barn down here that's burnt down recently. Hey everyone, want to do a quick wrap up on uh, our big adventure out in Osage County. Um, there's no fines to show. Everything that uh, that we found, we donated back to the owner of the property. Uh, he's a uh, very close personal friend of mine and they take a lot of pride in the ranch and the history of the ranch and they kind of wanted to keep a lot of the things. Uh, I do think uh, uh, G. Man Tunica and Travis, he he kept the marbles which they weren't interested in keeping the marbles and and Travis is, you know, like a lot of us metal detectorists, we find those marbles, it's pretty interesting. But um, he kept those four marbles and, and, and donated the old car that he found with the marbles. Uh, and uh, everything else we gave to them, and uh, they, they appreciate it, and we really appreciated them allowing us to come out and detect on their property. Uh, uh, there's wildfires that come through, and of course some um, control burns and stuff uh, later in the spring, and when that, if that burns that area where that school was, we, we would like to get back in there and, and where we can get our coils a little closer to the ground and swing in areas where there you know, won't be grass. Because the uh, grass, as you saw in the video, the grass was pretty high. Um, so we'll get back out there, uh, hopefully sometime this spring, and and give it another shot. There's some other places out there we didn't even get to. There's some several other old homesteads on that property. So uh, it, was, it was interesting. We're going to get out there and, and do some more digging. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy hunting to everybody.